What's up everyone, it's DSP and uh, we are now at the first game launch day of gaming season, which is what I like to call the last uh, three to four months of the gaming year, simply because this is the, the, the time when all of the new releases, the major releases of the year are coming out. And uh, we're starting with a bang. Um, to start it off, you've got Metroid Other M on the Nintendo Wii. Um, it also came with this, but we'll talk about this in a second. Uh, so this is going to be, you know, obviously we're checking out Metroid Other M to see what it looks like as an unboxing. Now, the first thing I noticed when I went to the store is Wii games still only cost 50 bucks, which is pretty cool. I thought this was going to be a $60 release, but no, Wii, they're still keeping the price down. It's $49.99, so that's cool. And, uh... <clears throat> so you pop this guy open, you got your disc obviously, your instruction booklet, and the cool thing about Nintendo, and especially these uh, these first party releases, even though it was designed by Team Ninja, but it is, you know, an official Nintendo, uh, Nintendo release, is they have really good instruction manuals, and as you see, full color, uh, really descriptive, I actually read through it to understand that sometimes you're going to play the game horizontally, sometimes you flip the Wiimote and you point at the screen, so there's two different control schemes, um, and just really good, it has a page that explains the backstory, apparently this game takes place right after, uh, I, I'm having trouble remembering if it's Metroid 2 on Game Boy or, or Super Metroid, it's the one where there's the baby Metroid that thinks that you're its mom and it saves your life when you're fighting Mother Brain at the end of the game. Um, apparently this takes off right after that, right after you leave the planet Zebes. Um, you get a distress call for, and you go to check out the distress call. Why you would check out a distress call after leaving the planet Zebes and almost dying without going somewhere to recharge is beyond me. But I guess we're going to find out exactly what's going on while we play the game. Um, but yeah, really good. And the thing about Nintendo is they're cheap. So they make the instruction booklet in three different languages, if you can see there. So if you're French or you're Spanish or I don't even know what other languages. I think it's French and Spanish. It's the same book. It's just three versions of the same instructions in different languages so it's a pretty big instruction book um, and then you get your usual crap that you get all Nintendo games join Club Nintendo so they can fucking spam your email box with junk and uh, then there's oddly enough there's recommendations they said if you like this game Metroid Other M you should try these other games and they have ads for like Samurai Warriors 3 and Sin and Punishment and Super Mario Galaxy 2 I, it's been a while since I saw ads like that in a game um for a related game or a game that's similar, but the other thing is they even show you here on WiiWare you can download, I'm sorry, on the virtual console, you can download the original. So you can download the original Metroid or Super Metroid. I thought that was cool because there might be a lot of people who don't know that, who maybe this is their first Metroid game and they don't know about the originals or they know about them but they haven't played them. The book ex you know, the, explains that you can actually go out and buy them on the Wii Virtual Console. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, so that's that for the game itself. Now what I also wanted to show you was I pre-ordered the game. Now I always I get my games at GameStop because I, I trade in a shitload of stuff. In fact, I traded in a whole bunch of old crap that I had lying around. Um, actually, there was this bundle online because I needed a new battery pack. One of my battery packs for my uh, 360 controllers was dying a couple months back. So there was this deal online. It was a battery pack and three like crappy games. Well, I don't want to say crappy. It was like Perfect Dark Zero and Crackdown 1 and and, you know, some other stuff. There was another game, too. I think Project Sylphide. And I had a couple odds and ends lying around. Old PS2 games that I'm never going to play again. So I traded all that in. And plus Kane and Lynch, too. Because that game should have been fucking called Dog Shit instead of Dog Days. Because uh, it was awful. And uh, I got enough money to buy this game for free. In fact, they owed me a dollar. So I didn't even spend any money. Once again, I got a game without spending any money. So that's always a good feeling. Um, but I get the feeling now starting next week I'm going to be dropping a lot of money this gaming season. But anyway, I pre-ordered a GameStop and I got this thing. I didn't know what the hell it was. It's Metroid Other M Art Folio. I'm like, what the hell is an art folio? So I'm going to show you. Basically, I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't even know what these look like. But they look to be full color prints of Metroid art. It looks like actually the game art and there's little descriptions on the back explaining what each one is. Um, let's actually put the camera down here for a second while I get that seal off. And now you get a nice stylish view of my kitchen. I'm sure you're all excited of that. Um, damn, I can't get this thing off without destroying it. I'm trying to get the, the band off, but it's not coming off. Fuck. Maybe I could slide a couple of these out. There we go. That's how I'll do it. I slid a couple of them out and now it's moving. All right, so let's take a look at this artwork. Sorry about the extended view there of the kitchen. So here we've got a beautiful skyline. Let's see what this is. This is Young Samus at the Galactic Federation headquarters. So that's the Galactic Federation headquarters. 
We've got Power Suit Samus. This is really high quality art too. That's pretty cool. We've got Zero Suit Samus, which is also known as Hot Mama Samus. And it looks like she's got a big open pink pulsating thing on her back there. Um, young Samus in military dress. Now, we've never seen this before, so I've got to assume there's going to be flashbacks in this game to her time in the military, which is interesting because we've never known that before. Um, here we've got Adam Malkovich in combat armor. He must be like the great, 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 great grandson of John Malkovich. And uh, he looks like a pretty typical trooper kind of a dude. Here we have Captain Steubing. No, she's kidding. It's General Adam Malkovich. So there's another Malkovich who's a general. Boy, John Malkovich really proliferated a lot of kids, didn't he? And they apparently are in charge of the world in the future. Holy shit. This, I don't know what this is. This is, looks like Samus and one of those soldier guys. So let's see. Samus Aaron and Anthony Higgs. So apparently there's a guy, a new guy called Anthony Higgs. Here's Samus kicking the shit out of someone in the face. Um, let's see what that is. Close combat. Okay. Here's Samus basically fucking curb stomping someone and executing them gangland style. That is Lethal Strike. <laughs> I didn't know there was a technical name for a gangland execution, but I guess uh, you learn something every day. Here it just looks like some typical platforming gameplay. This looks like a screenshot. It probably is a screenshot of uh, Samus hanging off of a ledge and shooting and looks like there's some rain coming down. It says the storms of the biosphere, okay. Here's Samus standing in a pile of shit. It's the biggest pile of shit I've ever seen. It's pretty disgusting. Um, all right, it's probably not shit. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the creep. It's, it's it looks like the creep from Zerg from fucking Starcraft. It seems like everyone copies that that uh, that premise, and that premise actually originated in Aliens. Uh, if you remember, in Aliens, not Alien, Aliens, at the Alien Hive, their hive is basically made of this creep, and it, it overcomes everything and overgrows everything at the human base. So that's kind of look what this looks like. Holographic environments. What the fuck? What does this have to do with a holographic environment? Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, it's Piranha 3D! <laughs> they've, they've jumped into the video game world. It looks like we have two killer Piranha going after Samus, so she must be underwater. That's aquatic dangers. Aquatic dangers, huh? Don't jump into the water too hard or your bikini might fall off. That's an aquatic danger. There's a giant... It, looks, it looked like a spider monster, but then it has a head like a fucking giraffe. So I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. I'm sure it's a boss of some sort. What does it say? Samus in the cryosphere drifts. Yeah, whatever. I can't grab this one. It's falling away. This is cool. Look how much art you got with this game. All right, this, I don't know what the hell this is. This is just like some flaming shit. Pyro clash in the pyrosphere. Yeah, flaming shit. That's what I said. Uh, what's this? Um, another giant monster with a huge eyeball, it looks like. Kind of looks like the War of the Worlds monsters. What does that say? Mother Brain and the Baby Metroid. Mother Brain? That's Mother Brain? Looks nothing like Mother Brain. And where's the Baby Metroid? I'm very confused. This, this art's hard to see. Is that the Metroid on top of Samus protecting her? I can't tell what's going on in this picture. It's too blurry. So good job using all those artistic effects in Photoshop. I can't tell what the fuck's going on in your picture, you idiot. And now here's the last one. It looks like a Scud missile that was a dud and it just like shot into a pile of crap. But it really is probably a derelict spaceship or something. Let's see. The bottle ship. I'm assuming this is where the game's going to take place. But who knows. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Take a look. I just got all the bonus artwork just because I bought the game. I'm assuming it's because I pre-ordered. I'm pretty sure not everyone who buys the game is going to get that. In fact, it wasn't in the package. They actually had to go under the counter to get it. I guess they had a limited amount that they got. But that is a nice little bonus there. Um, it's like almost like a pile of photos, you know? Like you were taking photos while you were playing the game. And uh, that is a cool collectible. So that is definitely a good start. Um, I'm excited. I read the instructions like I said, so I'm excited to jump in and try the game and see how it is. This is the first uh, Metroid game where Team Ninja had a hand in the development, so it could be pretty unique. It could be more action-oriented than platform-oriented, but I guess we'll find out. I've seen reviews online that are really good, and I've seen reviews online that are really shit. It seems like there's a really, really mixed audience, and when you get a game like this that takes a, a step 
in a different direction for a series, you usually see that. You usually see people who maybe like the old style, they say, damn, I wish it was more like the old games, but then you see people who maybe like the new style more and they rate it high. So I'm interested to see what my take will be on it, and uh, I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be my first official real retail released Wii game. And uh, it's going to be cool because now I'm going to have to figure out how to use the Wiimote while not interfering with the camera too. So I might be end up pointing around the fucking camera and shit, which could be odd. But I guess we'll figure it out. So, alright, coming up next, the debut, Metroid Other M.